For the first time in over two weeks, the University of Rhode Island men's basketball team is back in action. After an exam break, the Rams play host now to the Western Kentucky Hilltoppers right here inside the Thomas M. Ryan Center. Thanks, folks, for joining us here on what is a beautiful Saturday afternoon. The Rams playing host to the Hilltoppers. I'm Stone Freeman, and a warm, happy holiday season to you and yours. The Rams looking to get another victory, 6-3 and three on the season, but they play host to a team in the Western Kentucky Hilltoppers that is without their best player in Charles Bassey, but boy, can they score a team that is great on both sides of the game and their game has changed they're a lot quicker now a little smaller but they can certainly get to the bucket but the rams looking for another victory today against the hilltoppers let's take a look at some of the names and faces we'll see over the course of the next couple minutes for rhode island it's surreal langevine the senior with a double double his last time out against the uh, providence college friars 17 points and 16 rebounds in that game langevine with 26 career double doubles on the other side for Western Kentucky Tavion Hollingsworth he's had to pick up his pace a little bit they haven't played since the victory over Arkansas two weeks ago as well the Hilltoppers on exam break as well 23 points in that victory in overtime over the then undefeated Arkansas Razorbacks for Rhode Island though some excitement off their bench today Antoine Walker expected a little bit a little role this season a Georgetown transfer that is making his way into the rotation ineligible first semester he's ready to suit up for his first career game for the Rhode Island Rams. But it's the Hilltoppers and the Rhode Island Rams coming your way just after this. Both looking for a victory and head into the holiday season. Rhode Island and Western Kentucky tip off just around the corner. One basketball game since taking down the Arkansas Razorbacks way back on December the 7th. So here we are just a few days shy of the Christmas holiday on December the 21st. And the Rams and their home whites will take on the Western Kentucky Hilltoppers in year one of a home and home meeting between these two programs. The Rams will return the trip later on next season and they'll make the trip to Western Kentucky. But Jermaine Harris at the center for URI is set to tip things off against Carson Williams, the 6'5 forward junior for the Western Kentucky University Hilltoppers. And we're underway, the Rams win the tip and they'll control Rhode Island going with their same starting five that they have gone with for the last 27 games. Jeff Downton, Fats Russell, Tyrese Martin, Jermaine Harris, and Surreal Langevine as the Rams get on the board first. Two points from Jermaine Harris, the sophomore from Upper Marlboro, Maryland. From Western Kentucky, Jared Savage, Josh Anderson, Cameron Justice, Carson Williams, and Tavion Hollingsworth, the junior from Lexington, Kentucky. This team recruits well inside the state of Kentucky. Back to back to back, Mr. Kentucky basketball has come and committed to Western Kentucky. You'll see 2015's Cameron Justice, 2016 Carson Williams, and 2017's Tavion Hollingsworth. Of course, the Hilltoppers without one of the, if not the best player in mid-major basketball right now, one of the projected NBA draft picks as Williams goes on the interior, and it'll stay 
Hilltopper basketball, but they're without Charles Bassey. Bassey, unfortunately, going down with a tibia patella fracture. And just obviously for the sake of the team, you look at a big loss, a sophomore, but in terms of his personal career, right, a 6'11 center that had so much potential. And he still does, of course. He'll be sidelined the rest of the year, but a minor setback for major comeback for the Nigeria native as the first one is through for Williams. But Bassey, you can read off all of his accolades, but a 2019 preseason All-American, Conference USA freshman and defensive player of the year last year. The only player other than Bassey to do that was Hassan Whiteside, who went to Marshall. Of course, has been in the NBA now with the Miami Heat. Harris already has a bucket. He's in the interior and gets his second. First two go for the Rams. First two go for Jermaine Harris. Good to see him going for URI early and often. Only averaging 4.9 points per game, but a triple down on the other end for Western Kentucky, Jared Savage. Again, this team in Western Kentucky paces so well under Rick Stansberry, former head coach at Mississippi State, a team that has now had to change their demeanor in which they play with with Bassey on the floor. Their offense really moved through him as the Rams turn it over. A bigger body on the interior. Now they're a lot faster and a lot smaller, but they can sure shoot too as Williams fires and he hits back to back. Trips down the court for Western Kentucky and with triples and a three-point advantage for the visiting Hilltoppers now. Fats kicks at the Rams, just turned it over on their last possession. Martin pulls up, that's short off the front of the rim, and a rebound for Tavion Hollingsworth. Hollingsworth, the guy that has played 2,562 minutes over the last two seasons, as it's a turnover on the other end for the Hilltoppers, but that's the most ever for a Hilltopper through two seasons. And with 444 more minutes, he'll crack into the top 10 in minutes played in the career as just a junior. Rams undefeated here at home inside the Ryan Center, a perfect 5-0 and in what is their last non-conference game of the season here at home. They're on the road their next two against another Conference USA opponent at Middle Tennessee, and then at Brown as a fancy finish underneath for Tavion Hollingsworth. And this is what Western Kentucky can do. You blink, and they're up. It was a 4-1 to lead, and just like that, an 8-0 run over the last 84 seconds. Martin drives, fancy footwork and a finish on the other end. Nice play for Tyrese Martin. Leads the team in plus minus this season, a key contributor in his sophomore year, Allentown, Pennsylvania native. The Rams within three now. Pull up, Holmes misses. Or Hollingsworth correction, inside and that one won't go, but still fighting for it is Williams. And we're gonna get a jump ball. And it'll stay Hilltopper basketball. This is a tough place for opponents to come in and play, but there's the head coach for Western Kentucky. Rick Stansberry, again, former SEC coach of the year at Mississippi State. And has been here with the Hilltoppers for now his fourth season, 69 and 45 overall. Has won 362 games as a division one head coach. Harris grabs a hold of it, kick out, Downton dials it up, and he hits. Downton connects from three, shooting 30% from behind the arc on the season. One for one today, though, to tie this game up at nine apiece. Hollingsworth waits, kicks it out, potential turnover, and Downton corrals it. Jeff feeds it to Fats. Russell dials it up, and he just misses. Williams with a rebound. This Western Kentucky team beating Arkansas their last time out in overtime, 86 to 79. And it was Jared Savage that tied the game up at 73 with 26 seconds remaining. They outscored the Razorbacks 13 to six in the overtime period to take down again the then undefeated SEC Arkansas Razorbacks with first year head coach and Eric Musselman. Who here no love lost for coach Musselman as his former University of Nevada Wolfpack signed out of a home and home with the Rams. We've reached our first time out, a tie game. Rams will get free throws after this. Don't go anywhere, folks. Western Kentucky, Rhode Island battling it out.
we play basketball in the village of Kingston, we take a look around this Ryan Center and a whole lot of purple today, a purple out for Alzheimer's awareness and such a great cause. A lot of the support staff and the cheerleaders, Ramettes here on campus, all decked out in purple to support that hard disease that of course we will find a cure for. But you could see it all around the Ryan Center. If you tuned in at the top of the broadcast, I got my ribbon on my lapel today. Purple on the tie and head coach David Cox for the University of Rhode Island Rams. There he is, he's sporting the same look, a purple tie and the purple ribbon. His family in the back just behind him and all of his coaching staff doing the same. The team coming out in warm-ups wearing purple shirts and the guys on the bench. Before they enter into the game, you'll see they'll remove purple shirts from their torsos as well as Downton hits his first of two. We welcome you back inside the purple-filled Ryan Center, though. Stone Freeman on the call of today's game. And again, two mid-major teams, Western Kentucky in that hotbed for college basketball across the Midwest. As Downton hits his second, Jeff with an early five of Rhode Island's 11 points. Rhode Island, though, here, Love to play at home this season. They beat an SEC school in Alabama. They beat Providence College in the in-state rivalry game their last time out way back in the first week of December. But they went 4-1 and one here at home last year, 7-0 and oh each of the two years prior to that at home as Williams finishes it elegantly around the rim. The last time the Rams lost more than two non-conference games here at the Ryan Center. That's back in 2015, 2016. That's the year that most Rams fans have liked to remove from their memory as E.C. Matthews tore his ACL in their first game of the season here at home against American, but they fell to Providence College and Valparaiso that season. But virtually unstoppable, the Rams have been at home in the non-conference slate each of the last three seasons. Western Kentucky looking to sneak out another victory though. Of course, the Atlantic 10, not a power five, but they play well against power five competition. Eight and four over power five teams in each of the last two, uh, three seasons. Jeff Downton comes the other way, feeds it inside to Harris, who just missed a three ball. Jermaine has two field goals already. He wanted the foul, but he turns the ball over. The other way, Western Kentucky looking for another lead. The drive and a blocking foul. Cameron Justice. Took it to the rack, he was fouled. He'll get a couple free throws. Justice, the transfer from IU to PUI in his grad year. And he'll get a pair of free throws. 6'3 guard from Hinman, Kentucky. Hits his first. Western Kentucky team that makes 16.8 free throws per game as Makai Long is the first man off the bench for URI. And Matt Horton comes into the contest as well as Jordan Rawls for the visiting Hilltoppers. But this has all the makings of a back and forth affair. We've seen it through the first five plus minutes. But this was really the storyline as the second one rattles home. But two teams that love to fight. Teams that can score at a high clip. Rhodey shooting 74 points per game. Western Kentucky, 80 points per game. Martin tiles up a three, and he drops nothing but the bottom of the net for Ty Reese Martin. And the Rams up by a point again. Ball in the hands of Jordan Rawls. Conference USA Freshman of the Week back on November the 25th. He can shoot the three ball well. They're trying to get it inside to Matt Horton now, who Langevin has sized up. Shot clock down to 10. Justice for three, off the front of the rim, and Fats with a rebound. Fats Russell been quiet. Downton with a triple. Long, Langevin, offensive rebound. And the Rams do well on the offensive glass, a foul here. Rams do well on the glass in general, though. 38.6 rebounds per game. And Savage, that's him, number two, he's whistled for the foul. Another freshman in for URI, and Jacob Toppin. That one checking out. Inbound's gonna come way into Toppin. Does his best Calvin Johnson impression to reel it in. 
Rhode Island going to set up an offense against a zone look here. Two guards, three forwards. Martin with a triple again. He misses. And just over the outstretched arm of Toppin. But Makai Long chases the rebound. Toppin will get it deflected off of his hands and out of bounds. Another turnover for Rhode Island. Rams this season getting after it defensively, though. We hinted at it. 19.4 points per game off of turnovers, and they force 16 turnovers per game. Also one of the best in the nation, top 51 team in steals per game with 8.7, led by Fats Russell, who has 3.3 per game alone. Floater that won't go through for Hollingsworth. And here come the Rams in transition. Martin with a jump step, throws it off in a fancy move to finish it off. Tyrese Martin. That's Russell with another assist, but Martin has seven. That leads all scorers thus far. Rhode Island getting after it defensively. One of their last eight are the Hilltoppers. Downhill, off the glass. That one won't fall through. This one careled in by Makai Long, who had a superb game last time out against the Big East Providence College Friars as Fats drives, and it's on the floor. But Makai Long set career highs against PC in points, rebounds, steals, blocks, minutes, field goals both made in attempts, and free throws made. As checking into the game for the first time in his Rhode Island debut is Antoine Walker. And he'll get a nice ovation from the Rhode Island faithful. Walker transferred here to Rhode Island for the second semester last year as Dan York's going to give him an ovation. Walker expected to have a minimal role today. David Cox said he doesn't want to mess with the rotation all that much. But Walker, a guy that had a lot of high major offers out of Washington, D.C., when he committed to play college basketball at Georgetown as he fights on the interior and will quickly get whistled for his first foul as a Rhode Island Ram. But a little bit more about Antoine when we come back. 16 to 13, Rhode Island up. They're led by seven points from Tyrese Martin. We're coming back with more. Back here after the under 12, Rhode Island and Western Kentucky huddled up in a back and forth affair that Rhode Island has found themselves locked in the last two minutes and 26 seconds defensively, forcing one of the last 10 Hilltopper shots to go through and oh of the last five. Stone Freeman back on the call in today's game. And again, great time to be back here at the Ryan Center just before the Christmas holiday and the remainder of the holiday season. A purple out for Alzheimer's awareness and a whole lot of good things happening here for Rhode Island, looking to go 7-3 on the season before two road trips to start and end, rather, the 2019 year and begin the 2020 season. There's Jeff Doughton for URI. He's sure to get a triple today and two free throws. But back on to the court we go as Williams will get his second trip to the free throw line for Western Kentucky. And if you're looking at the hoop there, right underneath the hoop, number five for URI, 
on the far side. That's Antoine Walker. We were just talking about him before the break, but Antoine making his Rhode Island debut today. And he just got whistled for his first foul that sent Williams to the line as he hits both. But Antoine, a transfer from Georgetown, and he spent all of last year, on the, all of last semester rather, on the bench for URI and also all of the spring semester on the bench for URI. He transferred at the midway point last year from Georgetown as he drives and can't finish it off. Great defense on the other end for number four, Josh Anderson. Anderson kicks it, corner three, and that one just rimmed away as Fats Russell gets a rebound in transition and stripped from behind, but a foul is going to stay on the floor. Great sequence for both teams there. Couldn't capitalize on either end, but a whole lot of pace, which we're going to see plenty of today. The way Rick Stansberry is running his team right now. And David Cox has done that as well. The Rams rely on the fast break. Defense moving to offense, which is ingrained in the not only blood of this new era of Rhode Island basketball from Dan Hurley to David Cox, but also in the history of college basketball with the running Rams. Rams again setting up a traditional offense against a zone look defense. Fats is going to drive, kicks it, top in with a drop step, and another turnover. Rams haven't done a good job holding on to the basketball thus far. Five turnovers for URI that has resulted in seven points on the other end for Western Kentucky. Fats checks out of the contest. First meeting between these two schools. Rhode Island in the midst of back-to-back -back contests against the Conference USA. Western Kentucky now at home. And their next road trip after the Christmas holiday against Middle Tennessee, fulfilling a home and home from last year. Shot clock down to nine. Williams, the ball's going through him on the interior, working against Langevin. Great defense, shot clock to two. Throws it up, and Toppin grabs a hold of it. The Rams will run the other way. Martin already has seven, looking for nine. Can't finish. Second chance, won't go. And the Hilltoppers with pace. Spinning up, and there's a finish. Josh Anderson with a very athletic play. Baton Rouge, Louisiana, stand up as he gets to the lid and finishes it off against two defenders. Rhode Island showing Langevin, Walker, Toppin, Martin, and Downton. On offense now, shot clock to 13. The zone has given Rhode Island fits. They work it into Langevin. Hop step, throws it, he can't finish, Martin can't finish, and the Rams again go scoreless on a possession with a multiple chance. Rhode Island all of their last four. The good news though, they continue to get a gun defensively forcing one of the last nine for Western Kentucky. Walker gets his first bucket as a Ram. Nice pass from Jeff Downton, and Antoine Walker finishes it off. First action of the season, and he finishes it left side, right hand. And we'll take another look at it. Here's Downton, great awareness. 400 career assists, one of just six Rams. Here's 401 as Walker finishes it off. So Antoine now has his first point as a Ram, and now his first steal. Rhode Island up by a point. Trying to get Walker involved again. Antoine feeds it down low to Cyril. Kick out, top and dials it. He can't hit. Walker grabs it, nice pass underneath. Antoine Walker providing a spark for the Rams off the bench. Rhode Island's bench has gotten smaller. Dana Tate is not going to play today. He's dressed in street clothes next to Jeremy Shepard at the end of the bench. Dana was out against Providence College after violating team rules. We're not going to see him today as Williams rattles a three again. Gregory Hammond, the freshman transferring this week. Jeremy Shepard, ineligible all season, the transfer from the College of Central Florida, formerly of East Carolina, as Walker hits again. Antoine Walker feeling it. It's been a long time coming for the young guy. 
Savage for three. Rimmed out and topping with a rebound. Rhode Island very athletic as Jacob got a little over gratuitous and that's deflected away. Pat Russell coming back into the game. Here's another look at it though, just whoop. Walker to Martin with a finish. So Walker has quickly filled his stat sheet. Four points, a rebound, an assist, a block and a steal in just four minutes. Martin floats it up and he hits. Tyrese Martin with 11 points. Williams for Western Kentucky has 11. The two of them are the leading scorers. Rhode Island has hit three of their last three. 24-20 next whistle will bring us to another timeout. Skip pass all the way to the corner. Savage with a drive. Spinning, nice move, and he can't finish. Walker rips a rebound, and he's fouled in the process. That'll bring us to a timeout. Antoine Walker coming off the bench for the first time as a Ram and making his presence known. The former Georgetown Hoya is now a Rhode Island Ram. We're coming back with more Rhode Island up by four. Russell play for Antoine Walker. Great look at a great ball handler and Jared Savage that just does everything right. Pirouette move in the paint. Walker just stays with him stride for stride and grabs himself a rebound. Antoine Walker providing a spark off the bench for URI. Two of three from the field, four points. He's got an assist, block, steal, two rebounds and a partridge in a pear tree. Antoine Walker getting it done for URI. Stone Freeman welcoming you back inside the Ryan Center again. A very warm and happy holiday season to you and yours as the Rams look for another victory and defend their home court against the Western Kentucky team that's 1-1 one one on the road this season. But there's Antoine, comfortably sat between Jarrell Coleman, the director of player development, and Makai Long. So the Rams bench back to top in Makai Long and Antoine Walker, the starting five out there for URI. Martin already has 11, looking for 13, and that one rolls through. A shooter's touch for Tyrese Martin. Martin leads Rhode Island both in points and rebounds thus far. On the other end, though, for Western Kentucky, Josh Anderson working, kicks it, deflected, last touch by Jeff Downton. The Hilltopper team, again, eight and four against Power Five competitions since 2017, 2018. Last year, they beat West Virginia, who is receiving votes. Wisconsin is number 15th in the country, and they beat Arkansas at Arkansas. Signed a home and home with the Razorbacks and beat them twice, once each of the last two seasons. And <coughs> stepping on the line, Josh Anderson does just that. And a turnover for the Hilltoppers. They have been one of the class programs in the Conference USA each of the last few seasons. They made it to the Conference USA Championship each of the last two years. 
Unfortunately for Rick Stansbury, they've fallen in both of those games as Martin is feeling it. 15 first half points for Tyrese Martin. Down with another assist. They lost last year to former Rhode Island assistant coach Jeff Jones and Old Dominion. Jones was here from 99 to 2000. And the Jerry D. Gregoria error as the head coach here just after Jim Harrick and before Jim Barron. Jones with a great story though, battling cancer and his Old Dominion Monarchs winning the Conference USA Championship last year and dancing on into March as a nice move on the other end for Hollingsworth. Falling away and got the bucket to rolls. Final six minutes of the first half. Martin again dials it and he can't hit. That time got a little trigger happy and missed. Hollingsworth downhill and he's fouled by Tyrese. Before the shot though, so it won't count. So Martin leading the way with 15. Downton adds five. Harris adds four. Langevin and Russell both have not scored yet today. It's two guys that are both within striking distance of 1,000 points as Williams had Jermaine Harris 10 feet in the air, and he finished it off. Williams with a great touch, 11 first half points. Now becomes 13. Langevin feeds it down to Harris, who can't finish, and wins another rebound. Nice pass, though, from Sorrell. Extra pass inside. Williams can't finish. Wanted the foul. Martin's just going to run with it. Rams looking for numbers. Martin looking for 17, and Savage with a big block. The athleticism of this Western Kentucky team on full display. The stamina as they continue to go back and forth. They trail by just four with five minutes remaining in the first half. Rhode Island bringing in two subs at the next whistle. Ball loose, Downton falls on top of it. And the Rams create a turnover. 10 turnovers combined, five for each team. Harris dials it up, and he hits. The first career three-point bucket falls for Jermaine Harris. Didn't hit one last year. This season, 0 of 8, now make it 1 of 9. Jermaine Harris with his first career three makes this a seven-point game. And that was part of his forte when they recruited him, clearly a three, and it drops right through for Jermaine. Hopefully the lid off for Jermaine Harris now. Seven points on three of five shooting. In a very disciplined first half thus far, no fouls for Jermaine Poyet. Williams kicks it out. They're chasing seven. Baseline drive for Anderson who kicks it to the corner. Nice up fake, a second up fake. Hollingsworth feeds it to Savage. Langevin with great D. And a shot clock violation. Langevin can't help but smile. Curly White's ear to ear. Sixth turnover forced by URI. Again on the season, the Rams are forcing 16 turnovers per game on their opponents. And in most of their big wins this season, including the Providence College and Alabama wins, as Fat Snow hesitation and he can't drop it through. But the Rams have scored 25 plus points off of turnovers, 28 against PC, 33 against Alabama as Hollingsworth takes it himself. Fats trying to get into the scoring column and he's still scoreless. O of his first four. Anderson drives, he can't finish, but a foul call and that'll bring us to another break. Five point game, Rhode Island up. 31-26, 3.18 left to go in the first. We're coming back with more. Don't go anywhere.
NCAAs on their minds. A preseason favorite to win the Conference USA in the Hilltoppers of Western Kentucky. And the University of Rhode Island Rams picked to finish fourth in the Atlantic 10, but two teams that in their short-term memory have had trips to the tournament. The last time for Western Kentucky was 2013. And of course for Rhode Island, the banners allude to them in the Ryan Center. Back-to-back -back trips to the NCAAs in 2017 and 2018. Capped off with two rings, a regular season title in 2018 and a tournament title in the Atlantic 10 in 2017. Welcoming you back inside the Ryan Center. Rams up by 5, 31-26 over Western Kentucky. Stone Freeman on the call of this game. As we continue to roll, Rhode Island getting some production from their bench today, largely from Antoine Walker's provided a plug. Four points off the bench. Five assists, five points for Jeff Doughton, and 15 points for Tyrese Martin. Fats Russell has four assists despite no points. First one through for Josh Anderson. Highlight real player from Baton Rouge, Louisiana, as he connects both and brings the Hilltoppers within three. Shoots the free throw well to 76% on the season and then nearly automatic there, hits both. Rhode Island with a lot of movement along the perimeter as Makai Long drives, elevates, can't finish, ball poked out. Downton's gonna dial up a three. And we got a foul underneath going the other way. And looks like it's going to go against Fats Russell or potentially Langevin. And it is surreal. Seventh team foul, so we'll have free throws on the other end. He's going to come off the hands of Jared Savage as Walker comes back into the game for URI. But Savage, his production has been pretty consistent. Redshirt senior from Bowling Green, Kentucky, Austin Pay. And actually, he's not going to be the one shooting, though. The one shooting will be number four, Anderson, who just hit two as he hits another one. But nonetheless, Savage had the big bucket against Arkansas. That was the point. With 26 seconds remaining, he dialed up a three ball, and tied it at 73 as his counterpart, Anderson, hits both again at four free throws and has made this a one-point game. The phrase that will come to mind, or rather term, is athleticism for Western Kentucky, a team that's long in guard play as Walker elevates, and that one goes through. Antoine Walker with six points off the bench as Langevin connects an assist. But an athletic team that can shoot, they can score. And of course, you can't help but think what they'd be if Charles Bassey was on the court. As it's a traveling violation, Hollingsworth thought he had been fouled, and so did his head coach, Rick Stansberg. And they'll both get the unfortunate news. So back to work offensively, the Rams go. Island their last time out forced 22 turnovers against the Providence College Friars to win their second straight game against the Friars here at home as Downton just misses a three. Walker with an offensive rebound and he just can't finish. But that's what the Rams have had to think about each of the last two weeks. The victory over Providence College. David Cox said that during this exam break he had an inner squad scrimmage where they got some referees inside the Ryan Center to play as official as a game as you can get just to keep the game within reach for URI. Not to let them get too complacent. But it sure helps when you go into this break of 15 days with that win in the back of your mind as a turnover for Western Kentucky will result in Rhode Island basketball. Rhode Island just one of their last seven. They've gone stale here on offense. Top in for three. Leaves it short. Second chance opportunity. Fat styles it up. He too is short. And we get a whistle out of ball, out of bounds. So it'll become Hilltopper basketball with 88 seconds remaining here in the first half. Western Kentucky's done a great job defensively now. Both these teams shooting under 40%, 38 for Rhode Island, 32 for Western Kentucky, but another turnover. Fats Russell coming the other way. He's tripped up and hits the ground hard. Looks like he may have got some hardwood there against his kneecaps. He slid hard. 
comes back up though. Here's another look at it. Gets tangled up here in a couple legs of both five and four for Western Kentucky, Josh Anderson and Cameron Justice. About a minute 10 left to go here in the first half. Walker with a kick out. Toppin with a three, and he hits. Jacob Toppin, the freshman from Brooklyn, New York, dials it and hits it. A six point affair now, 36 to 30. Rhode Island has forced three turnovers of the Hilltoppers in the last two minutes. Nice step back over Toppin. He can't finish, but a foul called against Jacob. Looks like he might have got, if anything, ball. But the official going to say he got him on the foul through. And Anderson heads back to the line. So has six points, four of them from the charity stripe. Now seven and five of them come from there to go with four rebounds. Topping out. Martin in. Anderson looking to go six for six from the line now. Great form on his free throw. The Madison Prep Academy alum hits the second one. Thirty-six, thirty-two. Walker again kicks it to the corner. Martin this time leaves it. Langevin grabs it. Martin dials it again, and the same thing. Walker fighting for the rebound. He won't get it, and Williams grabs the loose ball. Shot clock turned off. Final 20 seconds now, and Western Kentucky will take a timeout, and we're going to keep it here. Timeout in this case. Rick Stansberry is completely invested in this possession. Wants this a one possession game going to the break. There's the head coach of the Rams, David Cox, year number two at the helm, but he's been here for six. He's getting an explanation from the officials, but a great crowd on end on a Saturday afternoon. Great day for college basketball in the Ocean State. Rhode Island looking for win number seven of the season. The net rankings are out now. The new system the NCAA is using to factor in who makes the NCAA tournament. Rhode Island at 76, Western Kentucky at 89. So two teams well within striking distance of the NCAA tournament. On hand today with 20 seconds remaining in the first half. Stick with us at halftime, two folks. We'll bring you highlights, stats, and more. Shot clock off, 19 seconds will separate the first and the second halves. Here we go. Justice got it. Kicks it to Williams. A three ball that hits as the buzzer sounds. A big bucket for Carson Williams. 16 first half points for number 22. And Western Kentucky is within a point. The Rams will have to sit on the next 15 minutes on that possession. Western Kentucky goes out of the first half with a bang, a triple for Carson Williams. It's halftime, though, in the Village of Kingston. 36 to 35, Williams triple makes it a one-point game. We're heading to the break. We're coming back with half. Don't go anywhere.
entirety of that first half. Let's take you through some of the highlights of today's game. This is a Jeff Doughton triple for URI to start the scoring for Rhode Island off the hiss from Jermaine Harris. Tyree Spartan had 15 first half points. That's one of his near side three balls that fell through. Rhode Island was rolling. Here again is Martin with finishing on the left side of the bucket. And a nice spin move pirouette for Josh Anderson who finished it off for Western Kentucky. Rhode Island though, right back to work through Antoine Walker. Off the bench, the Georgetown transfer in his first game. Had an assist here to Tyrese Martin again, one of 15 points for Tyrese Martin. Williams though was cooking. He had the game high 16 first half points as he drops that triple through, but Walker again got it going. Off the bench for URI, six points on three of five shooting. Fancy footwork and a fancy finish on the other end for Tavion Hollingsworth. And Jermaine Harris also got going for URI, his first career triple to give Rhode Island some cushion early on. Hollingsworth again, though, took it himself here with a right side layup. And Rhode Island fed it down low to Walker, who had finished it with three or four bodies around him. Toppin had one three ball. That's the one that goes through for the freshman from Brooklyn, New York. And here on the other end, this is the bucket that sent us to overtime. Williams, there's a four-point game. He takes matters into his own hands and makes it a one-point affair at the half. 36-35, Rhode Island up by a point. Second half tip-off coming up. Don't go anywhere.
Let's play another 20 minutes, shall we, in a one-point game. 36-35, Rhode Island on top of Western Kentucky. Neither one of these teams really got into any type of offensive rhythm. Nobody shot over 40%. Western Kentucky shot the three ball fairly well on four of 10 from behind the arc. They led in the rebounding category, but Rhode Island had 14 assists on 15 made field goals. As we waste no time, we get right back to work here. The second half underway, Rhode Island again led by Tyrese Martins, 15, and Williams on the other end for Western Kentucky at a game high 16 first half points. Don't free me back at the Ryan Center as we continue to roll through as Harris finishes it off, off the assist from Fats Russell. And Fats Russell, again, riding high right now coming into today's game, seven straight 20 plus point performances. Didn't have any first half points, but the good news for Fats, a key contributor in terms of in the assist column, five assists now. Dowling's got five. Antoine Walker has two. And Rhode Island again has now 15 assists on 16 made field goals as Harris heads back to the free throw line and he hits his first. This is a big game for Jermaine Harris. 10 points now for the sophomore in just nine minutes of play. A guy that finds himself in foul trouble. He struggled with discipline on the defensive side and he hasn't fouled anybody today as he hits both. Jermaine's got his first career three as well and 11 points. Turned the ball over a couple times, but nonetheless, a great first half and now a great start to the second half for Jermaine Harris. And his Rams are up by five. The Hilltoppers now thrown up in the paint. That one won't go and Langevin grabs a rebound. Hollingworth had hung up in the air and just couldn't finish it. Fats turns it on and there's his first points. That hesitation is so lethal from Fats Russell, a main reason why he's a top 25 guard in the country right now. A guy that can just change it on the drop of a dime, it seems. Martin with hesitation. Rhode Island up by seven now. They're up by just one at the half. A six nothing run out of the break in the opening 90 seconds. And now the Rams will enter into a rhythm offensively. Shot clock to seven. Downton drives off the glass, and he can't finish it. Jeff Downton with five first half assists. Now has 405 for a career. Too shy of catching Tommy Garrett, one of the best to put on a Rhode Island uniform who had 407. Hilltop is going to inbound now after the foul. They finally get it in. And they're in desperate need of a bucket. They got the big shot from Carson Williams at the end of the half to make this a one-point game, but they've gone silent here in the second. Shot clock down to seven. I don't think the Hilltoppers know it. Quickly down to four. Hollingworth pulls up a deep three. Won't go. Langevin chases it down and gives way to Fats Russell. Russell lead pass ahead, and that one's smartly blocked away by Carson, but it's fed inside to Langevin, who finishes it off. And a timeout taken by Rick Stansbury. We're gonna take it with him, a nine point game. Rhode Island has everything working for him in the second half. We're coming back with more.
An affair at the half. URI, though, has broken this one open here with 17. 39 left to go. Still plenty of basketball, but Western Kentucky has not been able to find a rhythm here in the second half. And it's been all URI, 3 of 5 from the field for URI, 0 of 4 for Western Kentucky. But Rick Stansberry has been one of the best head coaches in college basketball over the eight, last 18 seasons. He takes a much needed timeout, the SEC Coach of the Year in 2004. After his time at Mississippi State, spent 2014 through 2016 as the associate head coach at Texas A&M. Before taking over this team that won 27 games and made it to the NIT semifinals in 2017-2018. So a much needed timeout for the Hilltoppers and a travel out of the timeout. Cameron Justice. And a cardinal sin in college basketball on an ATO and add a timeout to turn it over. It's been a narrative for Rhode Island though. They've let teams squeak back into contests. And it seems like they could just flip a switch. They got a lot of high energy, high intensity players as Langevin reels it in and an offensive foul. And a pretty clear one in that Jared Savage absorbing the contact. His third personal foul, team foul number two. And Langevin's whistle for his third. Still looking for their first bucket of the second half are the Hilltoppers. Corner three for Savage, and he hits it. Man in his face, no hesitation. Great hit for Jared Savage. First three-point bucket to fall for him, or rather second. Two of four now from deep and six points. Down and hang time, he can't finish. Langevin soars, one time, how about a second time? Off the glass and in! Langevin using his power to assert dominance. First offensive rebound, second offensive rebound. Three o'clock on a Saturday, the bank's open. And Langevin loves it. Surreal now halfway to a double-double, 10 rebounds already, but only four points to show. Coming off that double-double against Providence College. And he misses. Playing with three fouls, too. Hollingworth kicks it. Williams with a post up. Fats trying to double team. Williams hang time, can't finish. And Harris with a rebound. Jermaine's got three of those now. Jeff Downton, a jab step and smooth. Forty-nine, thirty-eight, Rhode Island up by double figures. Off of the assist from Fats Russell, Downton collects a three. Harris with a turnover. Fats with a drive off the glass, won't fall. Langevin hanging, and they're going to call a cylinder basket interference, and that'll bring us to a break. Jeff Downton with a jab step, hits it, and the Rams up by eleven. We're coming back with more.
Again, folks, inside the Ryan Center, a purple out today and a great ovation for some representatives from the Alzheimer's Association today as we continue to fight for a cure. And the Ramettes cheerleaders, Rody the Ram, and an array of different Rhode Islanders here on campus sporting purple today for a great cause and the crowd on hand supporting that great cause and also getting a chance to see Rhode Island up on top of Western Kentucky. But just a great opportunity to bring some awareness. There's some fans in the crowd sporting the purple today as we continue to play on. Rhode Island leading the points in the paint category, 26 of those to just 10 for Western Kentucky. So outside of the paint, the Hilltoppers have hit 28 points. Substitutions come back in for Western Kentucky. Pirouette, spin move and a finish. Great play, count the bucket and one for Carson Williams. Jermaine Harris was caught behind, got his arm tangled up and Williams just great play. Spins it away, uses his two steps to his advantage. And caps it off with a bucket and one. Makes it a three point play. Just the second field goal of the second half to go through for the Hilltoppers as they're back within seven. Or eight. Fats with a long kick out. Martin zero hesitation. And Savage with a soaring rebound. The Rams starting to get Kim Placen on the offensive end, dialing up threes. Just out of the timeout, three point play already for Western Kentucky as a floater and a 5 0 run. That's Rawls off the bench. First bench points for Western Kentucky. And a six point game. Gowton floats it. That one won't roll home. And the Rams shooting early on in the shot clock. And taking some deeper looks. Fats with a steal. Here's a spark. Fats with a drive and a finish. A steal and score for Fats Russell. And the Rams get it back again. This one loose on the floor. And they're going to rule it. Hilltopper basketball. Here's another look at it though. Fats took it himself, had one man to beat, and he finished. Four points for Fats. He's got himself two steals as well. Again, his numbers speak for himself in that category. 3.3 steals per game leads the A-10, 15th in the United States of America. Antoine Walker back at the game for URI as he's whistled for a second. He was brushed up against Carson Williams. Hilltoppers on a run. Trailing by just eight. Justice got held up, trying to get it to Williams, who's cut towards the rack. Rawls with the downhill drive, throws it up, can't finish, ball loose. Fats comes up with it, and here come the running Rams. Fats Russell kicks it. Martin with a drive up and under. Kiss it. <laughs> off the glass. Martin in transition. He's got 17 now. Only trails Williams for the game high. 10 rebounds for Langevin. That leads Rhode Island, and six assists for Fats is the lead. Nice move on the other end for Josh Anderson. Great defense from Jacob Toppin, but Anderson silences the crowd. Rhode Island was starting to get the Ryan Center faithful, the 5,000 plus on hand here on a Saturday. As Walker with a high post up, he's gonna pull up and he hits. And we got a whistle. Substitution. Downton comes in, Fats comes out. Walker's career high was 16 versus Alabama A&M at Georgetown on December 23rd, 2016. Here we are, two years later, eight points for URI off the bench. 
on four of six shooting, three rebounds, two assists, two steals, and a block. Drive and again, Cameron Justice silencing the Rhode Island crowd. Rams are trying to run away with this one, but they're going to keep it to a single digit lead, are the Hilltoppers. Downton dials up a three. Short, long with a rebound, and he's fouled while he's going up, so he'll get free throws. The Hilltoppers are confused. And Long's going to get free throws. And a technical foul now has been issued. Rick Stansberry is heated. He was at the half court line and he got teched up. Confused over the foul and Stansberry was letting the official hear it. And he got teched up. Now he's cooled down a bit. So he'll get the explanation but Downton to the free throw line. For the technicals first and he misses. Jeff rattles the second. So now I think we're going to get free throws from the foul, and that's exactly what's going to happen. Makai Long will shoot him. Sansbury is still conferencing with an official, though. There it is. So he's getting clarification on the foul. He was out of the coach's box. That's my guess as to why he got tech, though. He was up all the way at the timeline. As Long hits his first, his first points of the game. And Horton comes into the game. But Makai Long, the guy at the free throw line, a coming out game is what David Cox called it against Providence College. Nine points, seven rebounds, four steals, two blocks, 23 minutes, all career highs now. And the minutes number is one that'll stick out. 23 minutes on the floor. Previous, his high was just 16 against Manhattan, but in a big game, he showed up. 10-point game as he misses the back end. Uh, Martin's going to whistle for it. And it seems like we have all but confirmed that the technical was issued to Rick Stansbury because of the coach's box. So that would make sense. In the past now, though, a 10-point game. Hang time, a shot off the glass, no good. Walker with another rebound. And the Rams will push it. Martin with the drive, throws it, no foul called. Long cleans it up. Freshman getting active now as Toppin will reset it and give it to Jeff Downton. They waste no time back to Martin who back irons it, Long fighting for the offensive rebound, Savage fighting for it, ball still loose, bodies are everywhere. And coming up with it is Tavion Hollingsworth. And Savage is gonna be found. That'll bring us to a break, 11.40. Left to go here in the second half, Rhode Island up by 10, a double digit lead. Western Kentucky chasing from behind when we come back.
The Ram Band getting active under the direction of Mark Kalazi, who is a grandparent now. There's Mr. Kalazi conducting the band today, and his daughter and son-in-law welcoming a baby boy to the world. So congratulations to both the Copa and Kalazi family, as I'm sure a future Rhode Island Ram. And hopefully we'll make his way to the Lions Center soon. But another congratulations to them. We're back, though. 11.40 left to go in the second half. 57-47 Rhode Island. Up by 10. Let's take you through some of the leaders right now. 17 for Tyrese Martin. 11 for Jermaine Harris. 19 points for Carson Williams. And 10 points for Josh Anderson on the Western Kentucky side. Fats Russell has been quiet today, but he has added six assists. Fats and Jeff Dowen each with six apiece. Downton has filled his stat sheet of steel. Nine points, two rebounds, and six assists. Defensively, though, the Rams go against an offensive Western Kentucky team that scores 80 points per game. Rhode Island doing a good job defensively, forcing 13 turnovers as a bucket good out of the timeout for Jordan Rawls. This game far but over. We saw it in the first half. Hilltoppers, you blink and they take the lead again. It's gonna force some bad shots now too on the defensive side. Fats Russell pulls up, settles for a shot, and can't finish it. Defense has become part of the identity that the Rams run with now. And when you cement a good culture, it's tough to break it. Consistency creates that as Hollingsworth hung up and Jeff Downton with as good as defense as he'll get. But it started with the changing of the guard as Dan Hurley took over. Then David Cox joined his staff as an associate head coach. Drive from Tyrese Martin and he's gonna get fouled. But defense is what the Rams hang their hats on. And it's critical in games like this against good shooting teams that can score the basketball. It's a Hilltopper team that was shooting 50% from the field as a team coming into today's game. 36% from deep. Martin hits. comes out, so he'll get an ovation. Tyrese rattles the second. Tyrese's career high is 23 at UMass last season. And with 19 points tonight, we'll officially put him in career high watch. Kick out, triple, got it, nothing but the bottom of the net for Tavion Hollingsworth. And he's got nine points now. That one, a perfect shot to make it a seven point affair. Fats, top step, blocked by Williams. Lead pass up ahead, looking for more. Hang time, can't finish. Martin pulls it down, fighting for it, and he'll dribble it out. Topping with a post up, and he can't finish. Martin soars in, putting it back up. He can't do it. And here come the Hilltoppers again. They're locking in. Savage with a kick out. Great pace. Hollingworth again from three. Rolled out. Savage fighting for the rebound. Stays in bounds. And again, we go back and forth. Pace slows down just a bit now. Doubt in the court, General's got it. From the parking lot, short. Topping with an offensive rebound, waste no time. Jacob Toppin with a nice floater. And we'll take a timeout. We're gonna keep it here though. David Cox calls it. We'll stay here. Toppin's got five points now. Looks like he might be holding that lower back a bit. Might have tweaked it. He'll go and take a look at it with Daniel Anthony. But here's another look. Martin wastes no time. He was confident in that shot. Topping comes down. 
bought it up, and that's where he might have tweaked it just a hair. One of two toppings in the Atlantic 10, Jacob here at Rhode Island, and of course, Obi at Dayton. But there's a look inside the huddle. Jeff Downen, Makai Long, and Antoine Walker all paying attention to David Cox, who took this time out. First one, coach's call. Rhode Island up comfortably by nine, and there's Jacob getting looked at by Daniel Anthony. It seemed like his lower back when he came down on the hop step. Five points off the bench for Jacob, though, and him and Antoine Walker have both been great for URI. Depth was a problem last year for URI. Fats Russell, Jeff Downton, Cyril Angevine had to play an awful lot of minutes. Christian Thompson, who has grad transferred to Tulane, had to play a lot of minutes. Tyrese Martin, second half of the year, had to play a lot of minutes. This year, you were hoping, if you're a Rams fan, to bring back Antoine Walker and Jeremy Shepard, who was the transfer from the College of Central Florida, a three-point shooter. Unfortunately, they only got one, and it was Antoine Walker for the second half of the season. But nonetheless, we're back here with 8.50 left to go in the set. Inside, nice pass. Hollingsworth makes two men miss, and he finishes it off. Hollingsworth had two men way up in the air and just waiting to find the perfect window, and he did just that. Corner to Makai Long, and he stepped on the line. Out of bounds in Hilltopper basketball. Rams needed that 15-day off streak, though, not only to focus on exams and academics, but also for rest. David Cox saying to media earlier this week, it was good just to re-energize, -re right? Get back into the swing of things as there's a fight underneath the hoop for the ball, and a foul is going to be called. But Fats Russell mentioned it after Providence College. Uh, he admitted to it. He was a little banged up. Didn't feel his best. So they needed those 15 days. One and one for Williams. And he misses it. Walker with a rebound. Walker has six rebounds today, one shy of his career high at Georgetown, which was seven in a Big East matchup against Creighton. Fats with a drive. Kick out. Downton to Long. Long going to drive. Pull up. Baseline short. And Williams grabbed the rebound. Final eight minutes going to be good as Rawls hits it. And they're going to review it later, but at the moment, it's ruled a three. And just like that, again, you blink in a four-point game. Fats drives. Hang time. Can't finish. Langevin can't finish. Walker can. Seven rebounds for Antoine Walker now ties his career high. Here come the Rams, a turnover force. Fats with a drive, gets it, no, but he's fouled. 7 one left to go, that'll bring us to the under eight. A timeout here, and a nice pass. One man miss, two man miss. Hollingworth finishes. Western Kentucky right back in this one. We're coming back with more.
63-57, six-point game. The Hilltoppers are quick. They score early and often. And they're right back in this one, a six-point game. Stone Freeman back on the call today. As we continue to roll here inside the Ryan Center, the holiday season among us. And thanks for taking some time out of your afternoon to spend it with us as we continue to roll Rhode Island looking for win number seven of the season and to stay a perfect undefeated 6-0 at home inside the Ryan Center. Their next game after today at home will be conference play. Tough to believe. Middle Tennessee and Brown both on the road and then the Rams return home against three good, very Atlantic 10 teams to start conference slate. After the timeout, Fats to the line to shoot a pair. Makes the first. Fats, a junior guard from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. That is blossomed right in front of our eyes here in Kingston. Off the bench primarily on an NCAA tournament team as a freshman. Him and Jarvis Garrett, great ball handlers off the bench. And Fats has been that, that buffer period, right? And as well as Jeff Downton, and Cyril Antrim, but they've been here a little longer than he has. But a bridge between those great Dan Hurley coach teams and now into the new era with David Cox. That has a ton of passion and drive. As a turnover again for us, this time over and back. And Rick Stansberry's squad has turned the ball over now a total of 15 times. So far, the Rams have scored 12 points off of those turnovers. Looking to add to that total. Downton with a hop step. Glass, no good. Savage with a soaring rebound. He's now got six. Double-double for Carson Williams. 19 and 11 for number 22 in red. They feed it to him on the post against Harris. Left side, working, conducting as the shot clock's down to 10. Justice with a kick out. Savage kicks it out and too much passing. Another turnover. Team only turns the ball over 14 times per game. They're up to 16 now. One of the best shooting teams in the country. 50% from the field overall coming into the game today. They're at 38 now. Final six minutes. Martin with a drive. He gets blocked from behind. Williams grabs another rebound as 12. Hilltoppers with a drive. And Williams flushes it home. The Rams looking for some help from the home crowd. Jeff pulls up deep two and drills it. Down with 11 points now, Rhode Island has four Rams in double figures, 11 for Harris, 19 for Martin, 10 for Walker, 11 for Downton. Ball kicked out, corner, it's gonna stay. Western Kentucky basketball. Charles Basie, Bassey, excuse me. Again, one of the premier players in Division I college basketball now at any level. Out for the remainder of the season. No, that's, that's just an easy game. bucket from Hollingsworth. But this team still has the fight. Bassey went down in that game. It's tough to see one of your best players as Martin gets it to roll through. A shooter's touch. And Martin now has 22. Ties his career high. But it shows the fight in this team. You see... Your leader, one of the top players on the team, go down against an SEC opponent at home. You continue to fight and win that game in overtime. That's what they got going for him right now. Martin, though, here's another look at this one. Stayed up in the air for a bit and rolled right through. And another assist for Jeff Downton, who's got seven tonight. And it's tied Tommy Garrett with 4.07 in his career. 
fifth all time. He's tied for now as Walker comes out of the game. Gets it again. But again, the Hilltoppers aren't going anywhere. Seven point affair. Martin already has a career high. Down one to Fats Russell. That one's going to go to the side. Toppin, who's back into the game, deflected it up and couldn't finish it. 420 left to go. Western Kentucky has that feel to them that they just believe in every possession. Turnovers have halted them a bit, but they're four of their last four. And they'll set up offense with 10 on the shot clock. Drive and a foul against Jeff Dowling. And that'll bring us to the under four. Three minutes and 57 seconds separate a winner and a loser. 70 points for the round. We're coming back with the remainder. Back inside the Ryan Center. Thanks for joining us here on a Saturday matinee affair just before the Patriots kick off. Rhode Island on top of Western Kentucky, 70 to 63. Stone Freeman back on the call, and thanks for joining us. We continue to roll a big day for Antoine Walker off the bench for URI, making his debut against URI. And there he is, right in between Makai Long and Jermaine Harris, number five. Five for seven from the field, 10 points, seven rebounds, two steals, and a block. Big game for Antoine Walker. Great bench player that has found a new role here in Kingston, making his debut after being ineligible the last two semesters. And he'll help out guys like that man, Jeff Downton, down the stretch of this 2019 2020 season. Justice now with a one and one. And he misses it. Final four minutes of this game. Fats Russell has been quiet today, two of 11, just four points. But now you're just looking for the win. And you've been up comfortably in the second half. As a turn over there, Langevin threw it into the awaiting hands of Rawls. They come the other way, Justice gets blocked. Carson can't finish, but finishing it elegantly is Rawls. And next thing you know, it's a five point game. Rams just need somebody to step up and score. 
And they'll control pace now. Shot clock all the way down to 15. Martin has already tied his career high with 22. Looking for a new career high. The triple won't go. And Savage with a soaring rebound. A ton of fight in this Hilltopper program. It's on full display here. Their last time out against a Division I opponent against Arkansas. They trailed by five with 90 seconds left. Trailed by three with 31 seconds left. And tied the game up with 26 seconds left. Three-point ball. Short. Rangemine grabs a rebound. Killed 30 seconds off the clock. But again, the Rams are desperate for points. Shot clock down to 10 now. Five seconds left on the shot clock. Fats going to pull up. <coughs> Side of the rim, rebound. Poked loose, and it's out of bounds. Going to go the other way. And the Ryan Center does not like that. And I think they're going to review it. This is our angle. Ooh. It depends on if Carson has the ball when his foot lands. Because it does go off of Jacob Toppin. So the officials are reviewing it. So here's another one. Right there, it's Martin, the last one to touch it. Williams becomes the last one to touch it here. Does he still hold it right there when his foot hits the ground? We can't really see it because Toppin's body is blocking it, but judging by Jacob's reaction, the call will remain. But both teams will benefit from a timeout nonetheless. And after review, it is Western Kentucky basketball. Five-point game with two minutes remaining. Buckle up. Hollingworth drives, and he gets it to go. Three-point game. And again, the Rams need somebody to step up. Western Kentucky in the midst of a 6-0 run in six of their last eight. Rhode Island hasn't scored in three minutes. Jeff drives. He can't finish. And again, the Rams miss. One possession game. Williams drives. One point game. <laughs> 70 to 69. Rhode Island needs a bucket. Shot clock down to nine. Downton drives, glass, hits it. Rams needed a bucket. They called on number 11, and he took matters into his own hands. Another look at it. Great high screen from Langevin, who rolls. But Downton, at that point, had one thing on his mind, and that was a ball. Hitting the bottom of the net. Got it off the glass. Down with 13 and seven assists today. David Cox needs intensity. Here's the upcoming schedule for URI. They'll face off another Conference USA team at Middle Tennessee, then at Brown, and then A-10 play begins. They defend this home court, though. They're looking for their sixth win at home in six attempts. As the Ryan Center has come to their feet. 
The Rams need a stop with a minute left. Hollingsworth drives, floats it up. Nothing but the bottom of the net. One point game with 40 seconds to go. The Rams defining patience as David Cox will take a timeout. Shot clock and game clock differential of 13.7. 27.7 left on the game clock, 14 on the shot clock in what has become a one point game. Rhode Island was up one point at the half. So these two teams have done nothing but exchange buckets and exchange runs in the second half. Rhode Island up as much as 11 in the second half. Western Kentucky's biggest lead was five. But that's all the way back with 17.32 left to go in the first half. Rams going to inbound here on the near side right in front of us. And their fans know they need a bucket. They know they need a bucket. Will they get one? That's got it! Final possession. No timeout's going to be called. Western Kentucky's going to go for the tie. They pull up a three short. Ball loose. Savage got it. Another three. That one off. The ball loose, final seconds. One more try. And it goes. They're going to review it. Williams, though, by the looks of ours, that's a good bucket. Carson Williams ends both halves with a triple. This one, the biggest one, ties it up at 74. Heroics from Carson Williams. 26 points for the redshirt junior. His career high was 27. He's one point shy of that. Here's another look at it, though. This was the third chance they had, and that's the one that mattered. Williams with ice in his veins. Here's another look. This was their first try. Well short from Justice. Savage smartly brings it out. Hollingsworth again makes it a miss. And the extra pass here finds Williams, a sharpshooter, corner three, got it. And if you've been a fan of the University of Rhode Island men's basketball program each of the last three seasons, you know that that corner in particular has killed Rhode Island. Remnants of Jack Gibbs at Davidson. A couple big Atlantic 10 matchups with Archie Miller and his Dayton Flyers have gone south because of corner threes. And that one in particular. The left side corner of the left hoop. And a triple from Carson Williams. Knocks this one up at 74. And well, we'll play some free basketball. Rhode 
Antoine Walker's out there to start the overtime period for URI. So him and Williams will take the jump. Jermaine Harris has found himself on the bench here in OT. And the Rams have to put it behind them now. Five minutes. Might as well be 0-0, a brand new ball game. Fats leaves it to Langevin, who gets it to go. Fats with another assist. Number seven for Fats Russell, Langevin with six points. Williams with a post up. A drive from Justice, he's fouled. And we'll get free throws for the visiting team. Western Kentucky, no stranger to overtime contests. Outscoring Arkansas 13 to 6 in OT. Their last time out. So Justice will get two. Cameron shooting. 72% on the season coming into the contest, and he drains the first one. Second one for Justice, who's the eighth grad transfer since 2015 to suit up for Western Kentucky, and he nails both. And we're knotted up again. Rhode Island with one timeout. Western Kentucky with three timeouts, if it comes down to it. The Rams one for one in overtime, Langevin made a bucket. Fats gives it off to Walker. Walker nearly had Langevin. If he went the pass pounce, uh, bounce pass, he might have gotten it. Instead, he left it up high. Williams, who was the hero at the end of regulation, throws it. He can't finish. Langevin fighting for the rebound, and Fats comes up with it. Another overtime here in Kingston as Fats drives, can't finish. Langevin loses the handle, and it's out of bounds. Waiting along the baseline as it rolled into his hands was Tavion Hollingsworth, and it'll stay Rhode Island basketball. Walker comes out. Rhode Island has not played an overtime game yet this season. So in terms of the 2019-2020 Rhode Island Rams, this is uncharted territory. Fats, how about a knockdown? Got it! That's Russell saying, this is my explicit house, and he's home. Trip on the other end won't go. And the Rams just need points every possession. They can settle down in the driver's seat up by three. Jeff from the same spot. Won't go. Martin with a big boy rebound. Ball loose, Langevin fighting for it, Savage fighting for it, and the ball saved, and Western Kentucky will take over. Rawls with the drive, he's fouled and won. Pride of Chattanooga, Tennessee, Jordan Rawls. Here's another look at it. He was running stride for stride with Fats. Throws it, left side, right hand, glass it in. Three point play to tie the game, 79 79. Just another Saturday in Kingston. Langevin tries. He's two for two in overtime. Eight points for Surreal. Two points shy of another double-double. 
Rams up by two again. Savage dials it up. Well short and down with a rebound. 100 seconds to go. David Cox conducting his team from the sideline. As Fats drives and an ugly shot. Tried to get the up and under that has become textbook for the junior and instead he plucked it off underneath the rim. And the Hilltoppers take a timeout. We're gonna keep it here. If you're just joining us, folks, what a game we've had at hand. Rhode Island up by as much as 11 in the second half. And Western Kentucky screamed back into this game. And a corner three as time expired from Carson Williams knotted this game up and sent us to overtime. Here's the A-10. Standings right now as it stands, a non-conference play. Duquesne, perfect 9-0. Great start for Keith Dan Brock. And the men in Pittsburgh, Richmond 10-1, George Mason 10-1. Dayton, though, number 13th in the country. They could find themselves in the top 10, depending on wins and losses. But 9-1, their only losses in overtime to Kansas. St. Louis, winners of the A-10 last year, 9-2. BCU was in the top 25. They've fallen out but still receiving votes, and in the middle of the pack. LaSalle, Rhode Island, St. Bonaventure, UMass started off hot. Davidson, though, they have been debatably one of the disappointments. Five and five on the season, picked to finish second in the conference. As the Ram fans enjoy this closely contested game, 81-79. All the credit, though, to this Western Kentucky team. They are going to fight. And their game has changed drastically over the last, really, two weeks. The injury to Bassey has completely transformed a team that would go to the interior and rely around a big man to rely heavily on speed and shooting. And that's what's helped them today. had six lead changes in this game, seven times. The epitome of back and forth. Here we go. 119 left. Timeout taken is now in the past for the Hilltoppers. An ATO opportunity. As this one's stolen away, Jermaine Harris with hot hands. Final minute in overtime. The Rams with a chance to make some more noise. Shot clock down to 10. Langevin seems lost, finally gets it to Fats. Shot clock to seven. Fats with another drive, gets it blocked away. And here come the Hilltoppers. Justice with a hesitation, kicks it. Williams to the corner. Ball loose again, poked away. Martin grabs it. Shot clock's turned off, they get a foul. Jeff Downton has all but clinched this game as he can hit these free throws. Makes the first. Second one from Jeff would make it a two score game and he missed it. Ball loose in the air, still up in the air, and Fats comes up with it. Kentucky, 
doesn't have to be pretty. So Fats now has earned a one and one. And he too can all but clinch this. Hits the first. Four point game, the Rams will pull everybody out of the free throw routine. Fats hits them both. Russell, not getting 20 plus, but he sure is clutching a victory for Rhode Island. Savage, a deep three, and he drills it. And the Hilltoppers again will talk things over. They won't go away. Take another look at it, no hesitation. Savage drills it, 6-5 over Fats Russell, 5-10. And it's a two-point game again. They'll have to foul if the ball's inbounded. If not, they could get a steal. game 84 82 16 seconds left college basketball at its finest Rhode Island inbound they get it into fats and a foul call Western Kentucky thought they had forced a turnover Rick Stansberry is out of himself He can't believe it. He thought they had forced a turnover. The foul is called right there. Savage, they said. Number two. That pushed Fats Russell. Rick Stansberry certainly didn't agree with him. Fats again, though. Could clinch it. Five of five from the free throw line. 86% on the season, by far the best on the team. Second closest, Tyrese Martin, Jeff Down with 76% coming into the contest today. That's it, some both. And David Cox now takes a timeout. So again, the Rams find themselves up by two scores. For Western Kentucky, they just hit a huge three off the hand of Jared Savage. So the Rams look on into their leader and David Cox. Rest of the schedule here for Rhode Island. In terms of rest of non-conference, December 29th, the meeting at Middle Tennessee State. Then they'll head to the Capital City to take on the Brown Bears. And then Richmond and Davidson right here. The Richmond game will be right here on your view. Join us for that one after the new year as we ring in 2020. 14 seconds left. Begins to dwindle away. The Rams one stop away from a win. This one was hidden overtime after a three. Another three from Hollingsworth won't fall. Savage fighting for it. Throws it out. Game clock down to one. And that'll do it. wasn't pretty it went to overtime but the Rams defend their home court 
and in the non-conference slate, a perfect 6-0 at home. The Rams finished non-conference play undefeated at home for the first time since 2017-2018. The epitome of a good college basketball game. We went back and forth. Two great coaches, two great programs, and a victory for the home team, 86-82, to the final here in Kingston. 22 points for Tyree Smart in the game high, though, on the other side. For Western Kentucky, Carson Williams with the big three that sent this to overtime and a three at the half that made it a one-point game. He by far one of the, if not the, best player on the court. 15 points for Fats Russell, 11 for Jermaine Harris, 14 for Jeff Dowton, 14 rebounds for Surreal Angevine. The Rams victorious today. 86 to 82, the final. Folks, we won't see you again here on your view until after the new year. So from all of us here, thanks for tuning in and a very happy holiday season to all of you. I'm Stone Freeman saying so long, Rhode Island victorious today.